everyone, welcome to the pattern tutorial for my new digital patterns which are now available on my Etsy store link below. This video is for the rear tie front crop top pattern which is available in sizes extra small to 4 extra large. Let's get to it. Today I'm going to show you how to make this top using the facing method. This is especially helpful when you have those knit fabrics that have the print on the outside but it's blank or white on the wrong side. In the next video which will be uploaded in a couple of days, I will show you how to do the other ways that you can finish this top. Using the Lehes hem method and using the regular fold over method which are good for knit fabrics that have the same colour on the right and the wrong side. Let's cut out our pattern pieces. We are doing the bell sleeve option today so we have the bell sleeve end, the 3 quarter sleeve, the back and the front bodice and the facing. With right sides facing, pin the front and the back bodice pieces at both shoulders. So we're going to pin there and then we're going to pin the other side and we're going to stitch this. Please ensure you're using a ballpoint needle as we're working with knit fabric. Now that that's done, we're going to overlock the neckline from notch to notch. See the notch right there? So we're going to overlock there going all the way around to the back, right, like that. And we're going to stop at the notches. Then we're going to overlock the entire back hem. And then we're going to overlock from that little notch towards the side seam and the short end of the facing. So there and there. Let's go do this. This is where the little notch is, so we're going to lift our foot, put it right under the needle, and then we're going to overlock from there going outwards towards the side seam. And this is everything overlocked. The face in, the back bottom, and the upper neckline. So right now we are going to pin the face in at the neckline of the bodice. We're going to attach it from the notch on the neckline, right at the end of where we overlocked. And then we're going to pin all the way down the neckline. We're going to stitch using a quarter of an inch seam allowance and we're not going to sew the bottom. Just the top part there. And this is how it looks sewn. Ensure the seam allowance is facing out and under stitch on the facing. So see here the seam allowance is flat and out. Then we're going to flip that back over. One flip over, right? And then we're going to under stitch on the facing part of the top. Right there and right there. This is how it should look. Now we're going to attach the sleeves to the top, ensuring you match the front notches and the back notches. Also ensure the middle notch of the sleeve is matched up to the shoulder seam. I then place pins in between the initial pins that I placed at the end, notches, 
and the shoulder seam. Now we're going to stitch. that's done. Fold so that the right side of the facing and the right side of the top are facing each other. So this is it and we're going to put the facing down and this is it facing each other right now, the right side is facing each other and we're going to pin the bottom and the very end. We are also pulling the facing a bit to meet the edge of the front of the top. Ensure that the seam allowance at the top is flat, like straight up and down on the bodice. So like the little fold should be on the facing side. So it's facing us. This fold is the understitch that we did earlier. This is a little close up. So instead of having it like, like that, we're going to make sure it's flat. And that little fold is there. It's right here. So you see the fold? Right, so make sure that's up. It matters for when we're stitching the bottom part of the facing. Like that little triangle end that we have. We're going to stitch this with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance to the notch or to the overlock stitch that we did before. After stitching, trim the corners as close to the seam line as possible. Now we have to stick our hand in here and turn it inside out. With right sides facing, pin the sleeve underarms together and the side seams together. So that's the sleeve there and that's the side seam. And stitch. We're going to do this to both sides of the top. Yoop, yoop. The sleeves have about a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch ease. So try on the top at this point to make sure the sleeves are tight enough to your liking. After stitching, just try it on, make sure it's good. If not, just like bring it in a little bit. Now working with the neckline of the top, we're going to fold the upper raw edge inwards about 3 eighths of an inch. We're going to pin it. Well, one, we're going to use a ruler to ensure it's exactly 3 eighths because you could get a little wonky up in there. So we're going to measure it, pin, measure and pin. And then we're going to top stitch it a little less than 3 eighths of an inch, ensuring you catch the folded fabric with the stitch underneath. Now 
Now we're going to fold the bottom inwards to the round side, half of an inch. Pin and top stitch a little less than half of an inch, ensuring you catch the folded fabric with the stitch. When we get to the stitch part of the facing, we're just going to smush it a bit so that the facing seam is on the wrong side and we're going to pin because all of this is going to be top stitched. Okay, so don't forget we're going to top stitch through the neckline 3 eighths of an inch, a little less than 3 eighths and then we're going to hem the bottom a little less than half of an inch. This is how it looks. It's getting there, right? It's getting there. Okay, so if we're going to do a short sleeve, three quarter sleeves, or a long sleeve, we're just going to fold the hem inwards, or well, you can overlap the edge. Then you're going to fold the hem inwards half of an inch and top stitch a little less than half of an inch, ensuring you catch the hem with the stitch. Now, because this top is going to be a bell sleeve end, I'm showing you how to do it on another top. So this is a short sleeve, we already stitched up and everything and we're, the ends are overlocked and I just fold in half of an inch, I pin it and then we're going to take it to the machine and stitch it a little less than half of an inch away from the folded edge. This is supposed to be a bell sleeve end, so BAM! This is a bell sleeve end. <laughs> now you may ask why I have a seam in the center of my bell end. I asked myself the same thing when I was making this top. And this is why I added a seam to the bell end pattern. Originally, when I was doing the bell end sleeve, you stitch the bell end to the open sleeve and then stitch it under arm seams and side seams. It is so much easier to do it this way because when you get to the end, having to stitch that tiny little circle on the sewing machine is hell. For the sake of this video, I wanted to show you for the short sleeve, long sleeve, and three quarter sleeve, you simply just overlock the end. Fold under and then top stitch. So I pinned and stitched the belt end sleeve shut. And this is how it will look. So now, what we do, we hem the bottom of the belt end. Fold the hem of the sleeve inwards 3 eighths of an inch and top stitch away from the folded edge a little less than 3 eighths of an inch. that is done you press the hem and we are going to attach that little tiny circle to the hem or the bottom of the sleeve the three quarter sleeve 
So with right side spacing, we're going to pin and we're going to match up the notches like so. And then we're going to attempt to stitch this on our sewing machine. This part isn't necessary but I like to tap the facing to the top I literally just pick up a little tiny single thread from the top and I attach it to the facing. Really really tiny and do like a couple stitches. So I tack it like three times at the top, middle and a little ways at the bottom or twice. I think once or twice and then that should be good. As I said it's not necessary but I just do it. Tiny, tiny little pick pick stitch, and then we are dancies. What are we? Okay, so I decided to do another top and show you how to do the sleeve from the very beginning as opposed to just doing the bell end at the end. So, we're gonna get the three quarter sleeve and we're gonna get the bell end. And we're going to match up the notches that are on the bell end and the three quarter sleeve and we're going to pin it just like so. I take it to my straight stitch and I stitch three eighths of an inch away from the edge and then I take it to my overlock and I just overlock the end. And then we just do everything that we did before. I already attached the shoulders, so now we attach the sleeves to the top. And now we stitch it the same way we stitched the other one. That is done. We pin the underarm seam and the side seam the same way we did the other top. And then we finish the top the same way we finish the other top. So you just do the neckline, do the hem, top stitch it, and we are done. So this top is Denzies. <laughs>